Hello, my name is Richard Humphreys. I have multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed in October of 2005 in the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, the symptoms that I have are cognition issues, uh, coordination, uh, fatigue. I have extreme pain from spasticity problems that, that really draw my muscle. I also have a lot of pain coming out of my the nerve coming out of my left shoulder all the way down to my left hand. I unfortunately have gone through an episode of what's called tonic spasms or tonic seizures, generally requiring me to be on the floor for a couple of minutes. No loss of uh, cognition, but I am unable to reply. Those numbers have gone to about 623. I don't have as many as I used to, but I still, you know, have a few every month. I also had the fatigue. It requires generally that I sleep about 10 to 12 hours a day. Um, in May of 2007, two neurologists told me that it was uh, imperative that I, I ceased from working because I was uh, an endangerment. So I've been forced to quit work. So there's been quite a significant just in our family and our financial resources, so it's been a little difficult. We were able to achieve uh, disability uh, starting in January of this year, so that has been a help. Uh, we are hopeful that I can get rid of some of the pain, uh, regain some of the cognition, you know, uh, the coordination. We're, every once in a while I have a tremor, but the coordination, like when I go to try to play golf, I can't quite find myself and um, and so so we're hopeful of the, the possible things that could happen with the uh, stem cells it's it's worth the try and for sure if it can just buy us a few more years of a better quality of life we we're, we'll be ecstatic about that okay. Thank you. hello my name is Richard Humphreys and I'm from Fort Worth Texas uh, I was diagnosed with MS in 2005. I probably had had it for two years previously to that. Main symptoms that I have at that point in time were pain. Uh, it was excruciating. In fact, I was taking five to seven Vicodin a day. I was also taking 7,000 milligrams of Tylenol and ibuprofen and aspirin. And that was just to help cope with the pain not so much as relieving it. It would just knock the edge off a little bit. Still was probably 50% there. And my goal was to uh, have a stem cell treatment that could just give me a, a little bit of quality life back. And we didn't know where to go, what to do. My wife found the Costa Rica ICM clinic online and thus Preston Walker and I were able to come here. It has been the most pleasant experience that I've ever been through in my life and has given us more hope than we could ever imagine. We were, were truly excited and would, as we're not physicians, but we can tell you from what it's done for us that you know, we would do it tomorrow and it was the greatest experience as far as having a chance with MS to leaving another, you know, a regular quality of life. Um, Unbelievably so, the compassion that ICM has for everybody who walks in the door is second to none. I've never heard of anything like that or seen anything like that. They're truly interested in your well-being, and you can see it, you can feel it, and it's, it's a wonderful thing. We also were lucky enough to go to the SEMO Physical Therapy, where it's the most compassionate uh, therapy group I've ever been associated with and as a nursing home administrator it's required by law that we have physical therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy and at no point in time have I ever seen therapy like this. It is just so much uh, more hands-on and so much greater for our needs that w we again we have a better chance. The ICM hospital is also the same way. They are caring and compassionate and it's like you're their best friend, and, and it shows. Uh, it's just so unusual for that many people to care for you, but they do. You know, our lives, when we came in, 
Uh, mine was extremely painful two days ago, could hardly get out of bed and just get to my chair and I had to use a cane even to do that. Now, realistically, I could probably go back to running two or three miles a day without a problem. And this is just through the first stage. There's two more stages that will happen in our body that we're excited about that we'll know in a couple of weeks and then another one two to four months from now. I uh, can't wait to find out what the results are because you know what, we got a real great chance. And here at the clinic with all the stem cell advancements and they're growing and with education and every day, they've also written more papers than any other stem cell treatment clinic in the, in the whole world. So it's, it's my opinion, this would be the best and the only place that I would ever return to. And hopefully I'll just be able to come back one day and just see all the advancements and see all the people and see the great things that they're doing. The only thing that I would ever say to anybody with the diseases that the ICM clinic does help work with and will improve your, your quality of life is to be proactive and get there before you get too far down where you just, there's, it's impossible for you to come back. Um, they can even help those that are like in wheelchairs or electric wheelchairs, but truly, if you're not to that point, be proactive and go get it done because you'll see your life come back at a much quicker pl uh, pace and it's, uh, it's definitely worth it. I would be, I would come back tomorrow in a heartbeat and, and would enjoy every minute of it. Thank you.